There's a few riders hanging on here at the back. Winner Anacona is one of the riders who is. Now we get a bit of a move. Team DSM. That looks like the figure of Soren Craig Anderson going clear. Remember when he did this in the Tour de France? And Soren Craig Anderson now has daylight between him and the rest of the peloton. He's an absolute master at attacks like this. Just trying to get himself out of sight. The chasing peloton behind. Arkea Samsic trying to bring this back for Armory Capio. There's going to be some other sprinters teams are going to start to get a little bit worried. And Craig Anderson still has the lead. Rocking and rolling a little. But he's got a few metres and he only needs 10, 15 metres. It could be enough. The wind is blowing pretty heavily on this uh, Corniche. One kilometre to go. A thousand metres of flat out effort. And still Soren Craig Anderson holds off the peloton. They're closing in. Bike Exchange seem to have this under control as they move to the front. Earlier on today, they were all talking amongst themselves, deciding how the lead-out train was going to work as Gripama now sneak past Soren Craig Anderson and get ready to light this up for their sprinter who's been riding so well, Penoe, the youngster from their development team. Bike exchange, start the acceleration. Here goes Caden Groves. Groves goes very, very early. Cavendish moves up and has to freewheel and bounces the bike and in the middle, it's Gaviria. Gaviria wins two stages in this year's race. Fernando Gaviria was so focused this morning and he delivers. Rakesi gave him the lead out. Thumbs up for the race winner, Jan Hirt. He takes it. Here's a replay of the sprint. Gaviria right in the middle. Caden Grove second again. And Cavendish pretty disgusted on the inside. Let's take a look at the helicopter. So Caden Groves goes early, Gaviria's there, Rakesi is there, and Cavendish trying to go through on the inside. He's pretty angry with Rakesi. Fernando Gaviria bookends the Tour of Oman this time. Stage one and stage six. And we had some great performances, didn't we? There's the rundown of the top ten, Groves in second again and Capio in third.